Hi! So imagine this scenario, you just raised money, very exciting, you worked very hard, launched your product, got customers, convinced professional investors that your investment is worthy of their attention, and finally you got a term sheet, and guess what, you're just not sure if you should take the deal. Because it is true that not every term sheet is created equal, and there are some cases in which you would be better served to walk away from the deal than jeopardize the future of your company. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and in this video, I want to discuss three scenarios under which you should walk away from the deal. Scenario number one, the valuation that you offered is too low. Okay, how do you know that it's too low? You can either value your company yourself based on the quantitative projections. You can use a scorecard or you can look at the market. Right, a corresponding scenario um, with the other two financing vehicles would be um, the evaluation cap is too low or the discount rate is too high. And the two financing vehicles I'm referring to here are convertible debt and safe. If you're not sure how they work, take course number five or watch our video called Introduction to Startup Financing. Scenario number two, control. If the term sheet asks for you to give up too much control, again, this is not good because it would make it more difficult for you to raise money in the future and also to make decisions that will be vital to your company's progress. So specifically what I'm talking about here are voting rights and the required percentage of votes that you need to achieve in order to make certain decisions. Are investors asking for them to be issued special votes that have more power? Are they asking for the percentage of votes required to make certain decisions to be higher? Right? All of these questions need to be considered uh, and weighed on you know, cost benefits analysis terms to see what is good for you. The second one, and very importantly, is the number of board seats because there is a limited number of those seats and each seat represents power. Because guess what? Who makes those voting decisions? The board of directors. And being on the board means being involved in the major strategic initiatives that affect the future of your company. Also, the board can fire you as the CEO and obviously, therefore, it's even more important who is on the board. Finally, scenario number three is anti-dilution protections, right? And um, those are put in place to protect investors against a down round, because in the case of a down round, they may get diluted too much. Now, doesn't mean you should never offer any anti-dilution protection. No, if you're interested in a certain investor, you can absolutely offer some sort of protection. What I caution you against is to offer the maximum level of protection called the full ratchet. When you only consider the dollar amount of the investment and not the price of at which the round was made, because that is extremely unfavorable to you, extremely unfavorable to future investors, does not compensate them for uh, taking extra risk, and is only done for traditionally biotech companies. Those three scenarios represent the top three reasons why you should walk away from the deal. If you wanna learn more about different financing options and fundraising strategy, take our course number five. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.